So notice you can see basically three different tubes here. The descending aorta, the esophagus, and the inferior vena cava. All of this is going down through the esophagus, continues, I mean the esophagus, goes down through the diaphragm. This is the diaphragm. It's so thin. Okay. This is the diaphragm right there. Another thing you need to see here, you have the intercostal arteries and veins. This is a vein in blue. You see an intercostal right there in blue. It's what? Intercostal vein. And in pink, so you kind of see it here. You see it? Yeah. You see the blue and the pink. The pink Ooh. is an intercostal artery yeah. it's really useful and the blue is an intercostal vein. Right. So you have intercostal arteries and vein. You have them through all the ribs here. Yep. Oh, sorry, sorry. The one here is parietal. This little layer is parietal. This is parietal pleura. Yes. Right here. And visceral, this would be yeah. visceral pleura. Remember visceral pericardium here. All right. Now, uh, oh, subclavian. Notice the subclavian vein. Oh my God. Right here, going into the arm. Wow. Subclavian vein. It's a juicy. And you will see the subclavian artery right there. You see it? Thank you, buddy. Okay, subclavian vein, right beneath it, yeah. subclavian <laughs> arteries. Ladies, remember what I told you, that veins uh, are a reservoir for blood. So the veins are a lot thicker than the arteries. Veins are also su superficial, arteries are deeper. Okay? Now, we're going up over, and all of it is diaphragm. Now, this is the liver. They have a huge liver. We only have two lobes for our uh, in our liver. Thing? All this is liver, 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 liver. They have yeah, a huge liver. Involved? We only have two lobes. Now, dividing the lobes of the liver, and it's here like you ball. see, and it's very tiny on this one because it was broken Ew. off. But you're going to see the <laughs> falciform <laughs> ligament right there. Divides the two lobes of the liver. You have the falciform ligament in here. Ooh. In between the lobes, that oh. green yeah. balloon-looking thing—that's yeah. the oh. gallbladder. Oh, that's right. oh. Now you it's open the pancreas. The... I'll show you now. Oh, it's it's like... <laughs> <laughs> Who is that voice? Yeah. Who is so interested? Oh, I was like, yeah. uh, I told you one. Oh, was little. That's, that's the so ligament. The, 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 the other part the was broken. <laughs> the is there one between all the lobes? Okay. There's one. Between the two lobes. That's, that used to be the best. Uh, ductus venosus bypass of the liver during mm -hmm. fetal circulation. Mm -hmm. In the fetus, mm -hmm. the liver's not functioning because it's um, by way of the placenta, the filtration takes place. So this is the ductus venosus becomes the falciform it's ligament. It's a boy, later. though. Yeah. I but know, when this was a fetus. Yes, when oh. the animal was a fetus. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now. I, I, oh my God, it's uh, like cracking. Right there, you see the good. gallbladder. This thing? Ew. Yes. Why is well, it This is going to squirt. Stuff if it squirts, I will throw it. Squirt right into it. Come on. No, 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 the cystic duct goes all the way to the common bile duct here to the duodenum. Okay, uh, coming from the liver. Can you repeat that bio, whatever? I'll go back to it. Coming from the liver, you have the hepatic duct right there. See the hepatic duct? Each lobe has a hepatic duct. So you have the hepatic duct, the cystic duct right there, and it all comes together to form the common bile duct. It's a mouse. <laughs> notice here, common bile duct, okay. right there. So notice it kind of looks like a Y. You have the cystic, you have the hepatic, hepatic common. common bile. Okay. I will pick a nice one that you can see the, the Y. This is the cystic, hepatic, not up to now. 
uh, common bile duct, so hopefully I won't. Common bile duct to the duodenum. Okay? Ew. Ew. So again, gallbladder in between the lobes. Cystic, <laughs> hepatic, common. common bile. Okay, and then common that's bile. The and it goes into the duodenum. Into the duodenum. duodenum. That's right. Duodenum. duodenum. All right, now, <laughs> let me show you the stomach. Ew. No, no. Oh. Okay. This J shaped organ right here, and this one's huge. It's not going to be that big on your uh, the other mace. He's a fatty. Yes, he's a giant. Oh, oh, my God. Stop saying his name. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Shh. Shh. They just got no job. Oh, John is really big. All right. Now, <laughs> the entrance. And let me pull this. Oh, God. The entrance here. Is the cardiac sphincter right there? Right. Stomach. Between the esophagus and the stomach, you're going to find the cardiac sphincter. Where is that? This fatty thing? Right here. You see? It's the thing you're pointing at. Don't yeah. me. Where the where the probe is? That's the cardiac sphincter. It's the entrance, right at the entrance of the stomach. Cardiac sphincter. Now the stomach is divided into four parts. There is the cardia. This is the cardia right here. There is the fundus. Wait, where's the cardia? Cardia that, here, oh. where the probe is. Okay. Cardia, fundus, right there where my probe is. Body, right there. So you have the cardia, you have the fundus, you have the body, and towards the end of the stomach, you have the pylorus. So again, Cardia, fundus, body, body pylorus. Now, the big curve here, this is the greater curvature of the stomach. So if I pin like so, it's going greater to be curvature. the greater curvature of the stomach. The other side, because the stomach is a J-shaped organ, right here, this is the lesser curvature of the stomach. Hanging from the greater curvature of the stomach, you're going to find the greater omentum. This is part of peritoneum. Peritoneum is the lining of the stomach. So hanging from the greater curvature is the greater omentum. This has a lot of lymphatics. This is like a drape that drapes over the intestine. Okay, so greater curvature, greater omentum. Lesser curvature, lesser omentum. Okay, from the stomach, um, from the stomach, we go into the small intestine. So in between, and notice here, you can see a difference in color here. Ew, that's yeah, green. Okay. Well, this is green due to the bile that's coming from yeah. the common bile duct. Oh, but yeah. right here, you're going to see a difference in coloration where it narrows, and this is the pyloric sphincter. Remember that from the esophagus to the stomach, you have the cardiac sphincter. From the stomach to the small intestine, you have the pyloric sphincter. Now, the small intestine is divided into three parts. The duodenum, the jejunum, and the ileum. The smaller section is the duodenum. So notice, your stomach is here. It goes into the duodenum. So if I pin here, this is the duodenum. Now, here, notice how it looks like a flower. All this is the intestine, okay? All this is intestine. Holding the intestine together is the mesentery. All this is mesentery. So holding the intestine together is the mesentery. Now, turn the... That's a kidney. If I turn the um, duodenum over, this meaty portion, where's it this? This meaty portion is the pancreas. This? Yes, this is the pancreas. Right yeah. here. Okay, so underneath the duodenum, you're going to find the, the pancreas. Tiny there. All right. And the spleen, the spleen is underneath the stomach and to the left. Is it? No, that's the rectum. This is the spleen. Notice it looks very much like the liver, but you have the liver, you have the stomach, and then you have the spleen right here. Okay? And is that a kidney there? That's a kidney. This is part of the rectum. Okay, now, what you want to do is hold on to the duodenum. Hold on to the duodenum.